I'm in Ignace, Ontario, beside the Trans Canada Highway here. And I'm about to head up the Pickle Lake Highway tomorrow morning. Cool sign, eh? Hopefully I'll see a caribou when I'm up there. Well, I am finally on another canoe trip. It's been a while. Uh, I just uh, dropped my gear off on a semi-remote uh, lake, just one road in, and uh, one portage over, and I'm into true back country. No roads, nobody living there. Uh, just some fly-in fish camps, hunters, fishers, trappers, and maybe some fellow paddlers. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a 16 or 17 day solo trip. And I've already been rained on one time already just after I started there. So I'm going to have to put up with some wet weather for the next three days. I'm surrounded by rainstorms every five minutes here. This by the way is a sea kayak paddle. Um, I brought it along because I've got to make a lot of miles this trip. It's going to be a hard trip and uh, sometimes I bring that. Looks like some rain coming behind me there. Got to put the camera away. Want to make camp and get some wood before uh, everything gets really soaked. 400 meter portage or so over to the next lake. Got the gear loaded in. It's very rocky here. I threw down some skid logs, one busted there. I'll show you my gear uh, later um, when I get some sunny weather, maybe unpacked. I'm shooting in between storm clouds here. Here's the portage. Uh, one end of it. It was pouring rain on me for half of it. So it's rain, sun, rain, sun, rain, sun. More coming in there. Well, onwards. I'm gonna get rained on again. Narrows in the lake and around the corner is a uh, hopefully an open campsite. Day one, I'm taking it easy. Uh, it's only uh, about two o'clock. And with the weather and just the first day shakedown of gear and the body not being used to the hard work, I'm gonna take it easy and stay at one of my favorite campsites. It just stopped raining and the sun sort of came out. Got some stuff out here to dry. I was here last fall and I stacked some wood and nobody's been here. All the wood is where I left it. This is all soaking wet. It's been out in the rain all day. Birch bark there. Job one is to secure the boat so it doesn't blow away. It's tied down. I'll set up the tarp and have some lunch. There's a few blueberries starting. Not many around here though, but I'll take them. Yeah, few and far between in this spot. 
you don't really get them in the mature forest where I'm in right now. You get them in recent burns or cuts or on open rock knobs where there's no shade. It's just end of July. There'll be a lot more berries yet to come. Tarp set up. I have a ridge line that goes between the top loops of this custom sewing tarp, except for that end one. I like it dipped down like that and it's uh, attached with a prussic. And it it can slide together and pull apart sort of like a shower curtain. I use truckers hitches for the uh, adjustment of lines. They're, they're attached with a bowlin, which is easy to pop off and on if I need to. I usually keep the four corners attached and uh, for this rig I put the side lines on as well to give it a better drainage. It's been raining on it off and on. These are little elastics for uh, bunching up the rope. These break, they're not essential. And I get the, here I'll just walk up here. I get the ridge line that high with all those branches, not by throwing it, but by using a stick, a long stick with a fork on it. And I kind of thread it up through and pull it around. A little trick I learned with a, a long reaching stick. For my tent, I'm using the Hilleberg Nematch. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's a two-man. Got the stick stove going to boil the water. Here's my fuel supply. I got sticks uh, from trees that were fairly dry, and uh, I cut some of the stacked holes that I left here a year ago. They're about uh, three inches in diameter. Cut them, split them, busted them up. They're nice and dry. But I'll have this boiled up soon for hot drinks, hot wash water.